Today, we're looking at a running back that I believe is the best running back right now in Madden 25 Ultimate Team. And this card being potentially the RB1 in the game right now isn't even the best part about him. The best part is, is that he's free. He is literally free. If you play the game right now, you can get your hands on this card. So in the game right now at the running back position, there's probably four cards that you could debate are better than the free running back we're looking at today but let's just go through them so raheem mostert has the madden 20 the good juke move the threshold is 85 in madden as well to unlock that good juke animation he's got good carrying i haven't had any problems with raheem i've kind of struggled with him honestly and that is why i found success using this free running back we're going to talk about today but i've kind of struggled with raheem I, I would show you the stats but they're actually terrible i haven't really found a good run play that pops yet um, Saquon Barkley is another one here. He does get that Madden 20 quicker juke animation with good speed and acceleration. Does he get abilities? He does not get abilities, which I'll explain. Abilities have been completely revamped in this game, which is really nice, actually. But Saquon Barkley definitely in that conversation. And finally, I would say that the free field pass CMC is definitely in this conversation for RB1 because he not only does get abilities and X factors, which I'll explain how those work when we look at our free card today, but he also can get up to 86 speed. And if you know how easy it is to build a theme team in this game, that is pretty easily 87 speed on Christian McCaffrey. Uh, so let's pop over here to Mud.GG. This card not being in the game is the main reason I feel so confident making this the title because he's not yet in the game technically, but there will be a strat card that will give Derrick Henry plus 10 break tackle or is it plus 10 trucking? I think it's plus 10. Yeah, it's plus 10 trucking plus five break tackle, which is going to make his stats go crazy. He's a very north and south runner with kind of lowish acceleration, but this is probably the card that best compares to the running back, the free running back we're talking about today. Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? I haven't said that in a while, but yeah, head to my sponsor, MOEXP, cheap, reliable muck coins, use code for 85% off. A link for their website is in the description. The card we're looking at today is the free field pass Mike Allstott. And the reason why I even tried this card out was because I was in practice mode using the 80 overall all stat, and he was moving like he shouldn't. Like he was really changing direction well. He was really fast. So I thought to myself, I'm going to fully upgrade this card to an 85 and see what he can do. And I did that and it didn't disappoint. The best thing about this card is the fact that he's free. Derrick Henry is not free. Here are the things that other things that Mike Allstott does better than Derrick Henry. The first one is price tag. That's obvious. Free is you. Free is me. We all want free cards. He's completely free. The acceleration at 88 compared to Derrick Henry's 82 acceleration and the COD at 84 compared to Derrick Henry's uh, 76. So we have that going for us. We have good stiff arm, good trucking, all that stuff. And they're actually the same weight. Uh, actually, Allstott weighs more. Henry's a little bit taller, but Allstott weighs more. More compact build can kind of get through and squeeze through blocks better, can change direction better. So, and if you need him to block for you at fullback or tight end, he's able to do that with the versatility. And his hands are actually pretty decent with 69 catching, which Derrick Henry has 56. And running backs do actually drop the ball in this game this year. So you definitely want to make sure you have decent catching. I've dropped so many passes so far with my running backs that have just been wide open. They just kick it. It pisses me off. So let me answer a couple questions that you might have about this card. The first one is how you got plus one speed. I actually have a 2020 Jets theme team. I highly recommend that everybody goes and builds a 2020 theme team. I think right now they just make sense. They're so easy to build. And yeah, this year, 2020 is the highest you can go and plus one speed is the highest. 50-50 theme teams are a thing of the past. They're gone, they're cooked, but I definitely recommend you go build at least some 2020 theme team. Could be a good one or it could be your, a team you're a fan of, doesn't matter, but definitely build one. Another question you may have is, how did how did you fully upgrade Mike Allstott? <laughs> How'd you do it at only level 17? So with a combination of level 17, I think this should be enough. I believe I misspent my tokens a little bit because I did like buy the 81 and 82 because I was kind of upgrading two season one uh, upgrade players at once. So I may have, I may have overspent in the store a little bit, but you earn tickets through the field pass. You can also, this is what I had to do. I was short about... 150 tickets so i had to go play the forge solos if you are short tickets i played 40 so i played i got 40 stars in these solos got 100 tickets and i then had enough to go to the store which i'll show you right now uh, i would really recommend not gambling and you know buying like these packs do not buy these packs just up just get upgrade tokens you do have to get the 81 the 82 the 83 the 84 and the 85 which is going to cost you 1950 tickets i haven't called them tokens they're tickets but once you do this, you see I bought one of each. 
and then you can fully upgrade whatever season one champion you want or season one free field pass whatever you want to call them card you want and they are really good and they get all 32 team chems so make sure you're building that 2020 team team and your last question is probably what's the new ability system that you were waffling about earlier but yeah it's kind of different we have only three ap on both sides of the ball right now three ap both sides of the ball with three x factors and x factors and abilities do work kind of completely different which i do want to show you what we have on all stock today in today's clips you're going to see i'm going to be post commenting it today for you guys i do have reach for it i would probably go with persistent i now understand the way these x factors work so to activate it to activate bulldozer as an x factor you rush for 10 plus yards twice in comp which is what online is so bulldozer he also does get honorary lineman he also gets armbar or rb apprentice which is actually a pretty good one too because it gives you those texas routes and all that good stuff but pretty good x factor abilities for mike allstott that will light up and can be taken away so the abilities can effectively be taken away from you and they're one ap and i'm gonna go I, I think persistent is the better move because instead of you getting tackled for a loss once you, you gotta get tackled for a loss twice to lose it and bulldozer is really good i i I don't know how it'll be as a normal ability, but as an X factor, I was getting I was getting animations almost every single time. Maybe armbar would be better, but I just was having a great time, just pretty much knocking dudes out of their pads with bulldozer and all stop with his speed and his weight. He was going absolutely crazy. So three AP on both sides of the ball with some X factor abilities is definitely interesting, and they're kind of like mini charges too. I mean, they don't charge like you have to earn them. But it's like kind of mini requirements in order for you to let up the x factor which i think is really good and of course like i said these cards do get all 32 team cams without further ado let's hop into my gloss die and i'll show you guys just how good this card is all right here we go my face in the corner right now this guy's got a good team by the way pretty good team my face in the corner is me right now the gameplay is from the past so it's not you know it's, it's we're, we're post comming it let me know what you guys think about the post com i might do this for more videos especially like a video like a running back gameplay where you just it's pretty repetitive i feel like being able to talk in between clips is 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 definitely the move but this guy that we were playing he had a pretty solid squad but when i see justin herbert i know to blitz again they really cheated herbert's release again this year this guy also just had no answer for the for the double mug which by the way if you are trying to run double mug and and kind of get that a gap pressure on college football you had to get you had to bait the tackle in this game just hover over both events of tackles or both uh, linebackers and you're gonna get that to scrimp the middle every time so we are in the Washington Commanders playbook before people ask. And yes, they do have two of my favorite formations in the game. Of course, the swing pass is my favorite. But look at this fullback run. This fullback run is really nice. I am looking to try and maybe get like another heavier RB2 that can block a little bit better for Allstott. But you just see how well this block sets up and how you're able to get the momentum and get those broken tackles and fall forward with Mike Allstott. And again, I used, I used reach for it this whole game. And I really didn't even notice it one time. But here's our X Factor for the first time. And I get a glitch. Okay, I, I thought I was going to run that dude over, but we get glitched here. That ball almost gets picked off by Melifamu, but a great read. And then, boom, broken tackle. And I mean, I'm telling you, I got pretty much the first ball carrier interaction every single time with Bulldozer. I was running people over. Like, that dude should not be getting up that quickly. He just should not be getting up that fast. Uh, next play here. I love, uh, okay, no, I, this is the wrong play here, but... Uh, where are we going we go read option or speed option here with with matt stafford that's not going to work either i think now i dial up one of my new favorite things to do and that is smart stem or stem curl routes from the running back which gives you this straight streak opposed to your streak kind of going outside and you see how it's able to kind of get up the seam it's really good versus cover too you're going to see me use it to beat cover too later in this gameplay but those those smart stem or stem custom stem curls go crazy and look at me just oh my goodness Tyron Matthew had no chance. And then I ran him over still. Stayed on my feet. Dude, all style is something different, bro. I'm telling you guys. Try this card out. It might, you know, CMC might be tempting because you can get up to 90. You can get up to 87 speed. That's obviously very good. 87 speed is really good. But the heavy running backs in this game with how the weight works and the boom tech and all that good stuff. With all style's versatility, with his movement, he's not very north and south. You can change direction with him. He's actually a pretty good pass catcher as well. And look, look, just look at how he moves. The acceleration feels so good, which is pretty, it's even pretty rare for a power back early game which you've seen with, you know, you saw the Derrick Henry card and his stats and all that good stuff. So here, I tried again. I tried again right here. The custom stem curl just goes absolutely crazy. Make sure you stem it far enough so you don't screw yourself. You can stem it 150 yards if you want to. And I'll start in easy there. And it's just, it, like, it, it never gets stuck either. And right here, I try this little RPO play that's new That's new in this game. Didn't work out for us. We come out in prevent. He dots me up. And if you guys were wondering, halftime adjustments are back in Madden 25. Everyone clap it up for EA Sports, man. 
Clap it up for EA Sports. <laughs> Halftime adjustments are back. We go to, I, I tried some different formations here in the second half as I already won this game. And I tried doing a juke move or like a high step or something, and that clearly didn't work. Don't try that one at home with all stop. Back to the swing pass here. And, you know, decent. And air truck, air truck. He can air truck and a lot more than that. Air truck, make a guy miss. Air truck, run a guy over. And then fall forward. And a little shifty inside there. Kind of get small, get skinny. Because 6'1", 240, he hides it well. He hides, he, he does well for himself. Another broken tackle right there. You're going to see so many broken tackles. Once you're full, like full momentum, once you're holding that turbo and running at full speed, having high acceleration also is going to help you do that much faster. So you're going to be able to break more tackles with Allstott. And right there, we're falling forward. One yard is nothing for Allstott. He will not be denied. He will never be denied, okay? Right back to it here. Same run. Again, he will not be denied. Look how he gets skinny, gets inside, and finds the end zone for the two-point conversion. I, I don't know why. Oh, I remember why I put this in. Look, look at that interception by McCly. I think his name is Makai Blackman on the Vikings. He's 82 overall. Look at how well he plays, man. Just jumping routes like crazy. That, that was definitely a little glitchy. I can't lie. And then right here, he like run commits me and all start will be denied on that one without yeah there we go and here's a lot more of his offensive highlights yeah that was pretty much it we get right back to the run game here just four guys we'll just truck into them screw it you know doing matt stafford slow ass audibles we're to the outside and so we're gonna dive in you see that cod that changes direction that acceleration most power backs are not able to do that okay let's, let's be honest with ourselves especially early in the game they're not able to do that a guy that weighs 240 240 what 240 oh my look at how i just what i just did to that guy oh my goodness all side just runs angry bro he runs angry we go outside here i tried cutting that one back so i thought he was gonna think i was gonna commit to the outside he clearly did not and these these, these right here are just kind of some throwaway runs because you know just getting a couple of yards we do have the bulldozer ability I'm trying to trying to just run someone over really couldn't get my, my momentum going as I was trying some new run plays, I, I don't really have like a dominant, dominant run play yet. My favorite one I found is that fullback dive I was running for a little bit, but I really haven't found anything else. And that's going to put us at 121. Well, I'm sorry. Wait, 100, uh, wait, 21 carries, 102 yards. We walk out of here with a win. And I'll show you guys the stats for all stop right now. Yeah, you're going to see them right here. Pull them up. Okay, 21 for 102 three touchdowns i felt like i had way more than five broken tackles and then for the on the receiving side of things we had eight receptions 93 and two touchdowns i mean what did i say there's something about the way all stop moves in this game i don't know what it is and how heavy backs play in this game that just goes crazy i'm not looking forward to playing derrick henry who's gonna have a 97 truck stat 97 with a 92 break tackle and it is still august the game's not even out yet we're gonna be seeing stuff like that it's going to be disgusting when Derrick Henry comes out. I still think all stops going to move better, but until August 29th and that strat guard goes away, Derrick Henry will probably have the advantage. I can't lie to you. Uh, but yeah, have a great rest of your day. If you did enjoy today's video, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.